try. Yeah, look, I think if you look at that first 20 minutes, we had them on the back foot. We, you know, we were right in the game. We showed that we could compete with the top tier nations. And um, unfortunately, a few mistakes let them back into the game and they got a roll on, um, starting to put points on us. Uh, we got under pressure. And unfortunately, three yellow cards, you just can't compete at that level with players off the field. I look back at when we came together for that New Zealand tour and, and you know, the results weren't that great, but um, we've just grown from there. We've built on it. Um, I thought we've had a great tournament. Uh, today showed that they're learning, they're in the game. Um, you know, we go back the next four years, I reckon we're a big top four uh, chance when we come to the next World Cup. Oh, look, Alicia Samal is probably been the big standout. You know, she was just getting across the game line. Um, you know, deserved uh, woman of the match the other day. Um, young players like Sammy Traherne, strain in confidence. Um, Millie Boyle is going to be a player of the future. Uh, probably a leader of that Wallaroos if she keeps going. I think women's rugby, you know, if people watch these games, they can see that it's growing. Uh, it's definitely improved again from the World Cup that I was at um, in 2014. Um, it's just on, on the rise and I think we'll just keep moving forward. Yeah, I'm absolutely stoked for the girls, the way they have improved each game. And that's what we really spoke about was setting a platform, um, going out there and really showing that Aussie mongrel. And I think the girls really showed that in that first you know, 20 minutes of that game. We came out firing and you know, Canada is a, a top team and they're very quick, they're very fit, um, they're physical and they're number two in the world. So um, it just goes to show with a bit more preparation and a bit more game time together that we can really stick it to those, those top teams. Yeah, it was, it was pretty tough to go out there and, and not get the win for the girls but also for um, Paul as well, you know, leaving the program. Um, he's left it in a better light. Uh, he's been with us for four years and I think I've got a bit of a soft spot for him after playing um, in those teams that he has coached and you know he's a volunteer, um, he's given a lot of time and effort into the, the program and I think yeah, as I said he's left it in a better light and someone that's coming in next for, as a coach has uh, some big shoes to fill.